Good morning. This is June the 9th, Sunday, 2024. And we are in BBA second semester, section A compulsory English class, where in the previous class, you read a section from the essay titled Cross-Cultural Conflict Interaction Styles. I remember that day where I had drawn a line and two columns. On one side, uh, I wrote individualistic cultures. On the other side, I wrote collectivistic cultures. And then I said, you read carefully and find the points on which the writer compares the two cultures. At home, I was reading this essay once again yesterday. And what I did, I guess, yes. For example, I have numbered. I have numbered for convenience. While I was reading, I numbered the points in my PDF file. For example, the first point is uh, uh, that is defending actions or decisions. Defending actions or decisions is the first point. Then second point, can somebody tell what is the second point? Second point is... Silence. Second point is silence, how they treat silence. And then... Fourth point. What is fourth point? Fourth point is verbal and non verbal exchanges. For example, the writers compare Japan and USA in a paragraph. Four. Then for A, for B, let's look for for B. For A. Yes. Subtle non-verbal gestures. Okay. How do they treat subtle non-verbal gestures? Then we have deep level silence. Your TB psychopathy, I'll call you and you will wrote right over there. Once I note these points, you will come and you will write over there. How do they deal? Okay, then deep level silence number five. Norms of fairness. That is equity versus equality. Then, norms of fairness number six. Okay. Uh, 
disposition, relationship and conflict factors. Then you have or let's say up to here the writers go point by point one, two, three, four, five, six. If you see this paragraph which begins with findings in many past conflict studies, did you find? Can you look at the paragraph? Findings. Look at the paragraph on page 362. Findings in many past conflict studies also indicate that individuals exhibit quite consistent cross-situational styles of conflict negotiation. Okay. Cross situational styles. Right? Then, although dispositional relationship or conflict salient factors also play a crucial part in conflict management patterns, seven, cultures assume the primary role in the conflict style socialization process. Okay, let me write. Conflict style socialization process and then seven I identity versus we identity then okay it's difficult to make points because they discuss differently so let's begin Let's go to the beginning of this section. Okay. And let's write. here with a note copy and uh, looking into note copy you explain how the two cultures defend actions and decisions how the two cultures use silence how the two cultures use verbal actions and non-verbal actions how the two cultures use non-verbal gesture how the two cultures use deep level silence and how the two cultures use the concept of equity and equality and how the two cultures use cross situational styles and how they use socialization process okay who will come come with a note cup and explain where is the attendance seat do you want a lottery you want a lottery 
Raise your hand if you want to come. Okay, here we go. And this is Prasna Sakya. Prabhishna Sakya. Okay. This is semi nembang. Are you okay? You missed a class last time, right? So I will choose somebody else. This is Selina Sreshta. Come. You can come with a note copy if you have. So Selina and Divakar sir together will explain. Selina and Divakar sir together will explain. You want this? This? Okay. And and come this side, Selina. You might be recorded. Is it okay? Okay. You take this. You can write and explain. You are a teacher now. Okay. Okay. You want me to explain? Okay, Selina says she will write, I'll explain. Okay, fine, go on. I'll explain. You write, I'll explain. Very clever, right? She chose the easy option, right? I'll write, Divaka sir, you explain. How about inviting Arya to explain, right? How clever I was absent. What 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 a diamond excuse. Ah, you were the one riding the scooty that day. Exactly. Oh, you are the culprit. No? You rode, you rode carelessly, I guess. No? Sorry if I offended you. <laughs> because I don't know the situation. I have no idea what happened that day. But when I heard, I felt very bad. Right? Semi, are you fine? Sometimes it happens, right? <laughs> You should, you should write very carefully. Okay, as she notes down, pay attention to what she's writing. What is independent self? One who does not depend upon other people. One who says, I can accomplish the task myself. I'll do it. So she has answered the first question. Look, low context cultures use direct request Direct verbal justification to defend actions and their decisions. Okay. If you don't have these notes, note them down. Do you have these notes? No. Uh, Why do you have to write Rusalai? Why do you have to write Rusalai? Why do you have to write Rusalai? Why do you have to write do you have notes? Good. Next, I'll call you. Just to score note Ramur de Himmel, Ramur de Casole. Dora Pantim Gravel Garsala, this particular. Okay, leave it. She will come. Come, pick her up, this particular. So let me explain before Miss Regmi notes down, eh? So in, in, in individualistic cultures, we have independent self uh, which is egocentric eye centered and they rely on direct request direct verbal justification right here 
interdependent self. They seek help from others and they use qualifiers, tag questions, indirect requests to make a point in subtle situations. Okay, pick up next. Okay, they give upfront clarifications. Good. They give upfront clarifications. Fine. I might invite you at the end to explain everything on the whiteboard. Eh? They'll write and you might be invited to explain everything. Prasuna has to listen. Balla khais vandasana prasuna. Balla khais vandasana prasuna. Balla khais vandasana prasuna. Okay, let's explain balla mantu. Timurapini palla vandasana. ตัวเลยก็เรื่องว่าที่เบทิกเขียนนะเกะตัวเราสมัครสมาชิกว่าที่วันนี้ตัวเราเพรสเซนต์ก็ได้ใครคลีเอร์ลี่บอกอย่าง
धन्य तो मैं कई भाई जो खुशी लगे तो मज आए न कलेज अस्त के भाई खुशी लगे ना तो बर्बाद हो यो क्लास फोर आवर को अभी फोर आवर्स कंटिन्ू पढ़ने संसार ब्रेक एक दिन में सकने के पूरे इसे अभी बल्ल तो दिमाग में बस कि खुशी आ रही धीरे बेल लेख पैला रिशाएक थी मैं राख् खुशी भैन पे Okay, done. You can come back. Wait a minute. What's your uh, come come this side to the camera? What's your name? Bibuti. Bibuti, we got recorded. Do you permit me to publish this in Facebook and YouTube? Yes. Okay, go. So, let's review. So she has talked about silence, right? Okay, she has talked about the norms. She has talked about styles also, and she has talked about these also. Now I give you uh, five minute time to read and review. Then I'll invite Latim Laine. Give me the hour, na? I give you five minute time. Uh, after five minute time, I'll invite you, and you explain everything. Do you know any answer? Do you know any answer? As you prefer. ते है तिमी अब लिमी अब ऊ प्रिपेयर छेन ऊ प्रिपेयर छेन
I should go and explain. Don't worry, explain whenever you can. No, no problem. Just tell what you understand. And yes, that's where you get you get recorded, and I publish this on social media and YouTube. Is it okay? Yes. Okay, go. On. So in today's class, we'll be understanding the different points of comparison between individualistic and collectivistic. We have also categorized it as individualistic can also be low context cultures, uh, low contact cultures with I in identity and collectivistic high context cultures with V identity. So we have seven points here. So we have seven points here to be able to categorize it in different uh, ways. The first will be independent self for individualistic and inter interdependent self for collectivistic. Independent self here heavily uh, depends on direct requests, direct verbal justifications, which helps to clarify and defend their actions on decisions. And on the other hand, collectivists uses qualifiers together. In the second uh, point, we have mentioned it. So they use such things to be indirectly or equivocally uh, talk about the problem. Second, they tend to rely on direct requests, direct verbal justifications to defend actions or decisions. They directly try to process and talk out the things rather than um, forming different confusions while talking about something. The opposite word for directness is modesty. You know, uh, in, in modest cultures, in modest cultures, speakers are hesitant. They don't normally like saying no, right? Or let's say don't, they are not assertive. They are not assertive, right? Whereas in TV3 cultures are very direct and very assertive. We can also say that they try to finish their work on their own and they try to work in a group or collective. The name itself suggests collectivist, collectivists. So they try to work in a group or they collectively finish some task. Third, upfront clarifications, open emotional expression, signal of caring. Proper emotional, emotional self, okay. How is emotional expression treated in both cultures? How is open emotional expression treated? In, in low context cultures, if you openly express your emotions, they think you care about other party. Whereas, if you openly uh, express your emotions in collectivistic cultures, they think you are immature and you have no self control.
या देश नेपाली सॉन्ग पाई शोर खाते हैं लोग ने मैन से बाहर रुलू होते हैं तो जैसे इन योर कॉन्टर इफ यू आर वेल यू क्राइ इन योर लुक टू बी इमेज व्हेन व्हेन अ बॉय क्राइ दे से तो ही इज अ सिसी लाइक अ सिस्टर that it is a wrong thing to say that the structure that is so that it is that shop on the sunrise is the same thing that it the fourth would be silence i've written the same thing in my notebook also that silence in context of individualistic approach is considered as guilt or incompetence incompetence basically means not being But there's a word called like liar, which means you're not able to, or you're not capable enough. If you so, maintain silence, they will think you are admitting guilt. But at the other side, when you're silent in collectivistic approach, you're considered to be disciplined or matured or self-disciplined. Means it is a symbol of discipline. Silence is a symbol of discipline. Verbal offense. Where's verbal offense? Hmm. In fifth, skip down. I want to clean. Okay. In fifth, we are talking about equity and equality norms. So here, in the context of individualists, they deal with reward allocations in group conflict interactions, and in collectivistic approach. they try to help avoid group disharmony when they are dealing with different group members okay somebody can explain you also try what is equity and equality look Sorry. here he is taller than me right he is taller than me right i am 53 i guess he may he may be around 510 what's your height if you know so 6 around 5 to let's say so equality means we are given equal ground right stand by my surface the class So this is equality, right? Now look, he is taller than me, so he has a higher perspective, right? So this is equality. Now the the very the the problem is that if you place both of us at the same level, then I am uh, not as tall as he is, so I cannot see across the wall easily. He can see. Now you should go down. Go down. Look here. Now we are equal. Now we are equal. Do you see? We are equal now. We are equal, but he is given a lower ground. This is equity. So you are distributing resources as per our capacity. I am low capacity, so I get a higher ground. He is high capacity, he gets a lower ground, and still we are equal. So equity aims at equality. Equity aims at equality. Bolla do real equality bhai ne ab. Ulai alki the tala orale pa si bolai brawar bhai ne tab. This is real equality, right? तर तल बड़ हे उसे थोड़े पाए नी ऊ तल गई रहें मत बस दिस इज इक्विटी एंड इक्वालिटी इन डिविजुअलिस्टिक कल्चर्स यूज द कंसर्व इक्विटी टल छो तल ठा दे टल छे मत बस कलेक्टिविस्टिक कल्चर्स मत कलेक्टिविस्टिक नो ट्रीट इक्वली राइट द कंसेप्ट अफ इक्वालिटी इज लेस इफेक्टिव द कंसेप्ट अफ इक्विटी इज मोर इफेक्टिव Yes, go. Six point three. Number six. Yes, sir. Sorry, not all of us. Sorry. Yes, sir. 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 Y
I will try to show that maybe both of us are okay. I'll be more compromising. I'll be more obligatory because I don't want to give him the feeling that he's defeated. I want to give him the feeling that we have both won. Right? Win-win situation. Mm. Then... Self-maintenance, yeah. face maintenance. F yeah. And, and this is called face maintenance. So when I make him feel that he's also right, I'm also right after conflict, his face is maintained. But if I make him feel that he was wrong, I was right, he may feel he has lost his face. In, in DP dualistic cultures, we don't worry about maintaining prestige. We focus more on solving the problem. Mm. Whereas in collectivistic cultures, we not only focus on solving problem, but also solve the problem in such a way that both parties are comfortable. Right? Then what is that? Yes. Focus. Collectivistic cultures focus on we identity. identity and others focus on I identity. Give us a big hand. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. Thank you. So we start the castle. Tomorrow, Mr. Patel will present.